When it comes to professional wrestling lately, frankly, I've been looking for topics to talk about. I want to talk about things. I just don't feel like I have a lot to talk about. And I've also been looking for stuff to do that's different, maybe stuff that's fun, maybe a little outside of the box, you know, just something different. So, you know, I'm sitting there over the last week and watching the 2015 NFL draft, and I'm like, hmm, maybe I can carry this over to professional wrestling. Maybe we could try and do something a little different, maybe have a little fun with this, uh, so on and so forth. So that's what I decided to do. I came to you today to ask you who you would take in a pro wrestling draft. And I'm going to do a follow-up video in a couple of days, maybe talking about some of the best choices that I saw. And then I'll ultimately give you my choices for who I would take in a pro wrestling draft. So here's the groundwork, or here's the foundation of the, the, the rules, I guess you would say, that I would like to see you work within. I'm going to split this into a few different categories. We're going to go into veterans, uh, top 10, uh, then women, tag teams, and some wild cards. So let's start off with the veterans. You have to get one legend, one top guy, one veteran for the mid card, one veteran for the undercard, um, some type of veteran tag team, and some type of veteran woman. And what I want you to do is think about these individuals as the foundation of what you want to do with your company. These are the people that you're trying to start off a wrestling company. So many of us think sometimes that we could do things better than WWE, TNA, ROH, what have you. Well, here's a chance to kind of show what you could do. Show what your mindset would be, what your philosophy would be when you're starting off a wrestling company. You have the choice of anybody from WWE, TNA, ROH, the Indies, Japan, all over the world. It does not matter. You pick you a legend, and when I say a legend, a legend, an icon, somebody that has instant name recognition type of guy, the type of guy that doesn't appear all the time, but when they do, people take notice and it really means something. Then that veteran top guy that is kind of your day-to-day -day standard bearer, that's the one that everybody else has to work with. That's the one that you know is really, again, the foundation for everything that you do. That veteran in the mid-card that can meet up with people that are on their way from the top that can help elevate people from the bottom and move them up to the next level. That guy that maybe has some versatility to work on either side of the fence that can work with different types of performers, you know, what have you. And then even a veteran for the undercard, somebody that can help out those that are maybe lost, those that are just starting out, the rookies, what have you, and teach them the way that you want things done in your company. You know, tag team, kind of a similar deal, women, kind of similar deal. So, you know, feel free to let me know what veterans you would choose to start your company around. And to me, there's not a right or wrong answer. It's about who you choose for a legend, for a top guy, for a mid-card, for undercard, tag team, a woman. Now, keep in mind, though, that part of the premise of this is you are trying to sit there and build a company because this is going to be your business. This is going to be your baby. This is going to be the way you ultimately feed yourself and your families. This is going to be your livelihood. So try to keep that business perspective in mind. Then the next category we'll go into is top 10. And what I say here is the 10 guys that you look at that would be the future of your company within two to three years. These are going to be your future stars. And you can pick any top any 10 guys that you want. I would prefer if out of those 10 guys you chose at least one black guy, one Hispanic wrestler, one European wrestler like Britain, you get what I'm saying, and then one Asian wrestler of some kind. doesn't have to be. It would just would be a preference because I would think if you're trying to build a wrestling company, you want it to have local, regional, national, and also international appeal. So who would you choose? Who would be your 10 guys? Who would be those guys that you would look at as in two to three years, maybe as that legend moves on and even that top guy moves up to legend, uh, that these are the guys that are going to be the meat and potatoes of your company. These are going to be the guys that help your company now and become your company down the road. Then you can pick five women for your women's division to go along with that top woman, so you'd have a total of six. You could pick three tag teams again, whatever type of tag team you want from anywhere around the world. Um, you can also have five wild cards. Maybe these are additional guys on the independent scene. Maybe these are guys that are over in Japan. Maybe these are guys that I've never freaking heard of. Many other people I've never freaking heard of. I don't know. But I'm just curious to see how you would build a wrestling company. If you had the chance to pick anybody in the world when it comes to professional wrestling, what veterans would you pick to start your company? 
who would be that top 10 that you would envision as being those future stars and who you think would be most likely to become big stars? Who would be the women that you would build a women's division around? The tag teams that you would build a tag team division around? And then those wild cards that you could fit in any type of different roles. Maybe someday they become veterans that fill that top guy mid-card undercard role. Maybe they're guys that put two of them together, they make a tag team. Maybe they're guys that eventually slide into that top ten. I don't really know. But like I said, feel free to let me know who you would take in these categories in a wrestling draft in the comment section below. And I'll follow up later this week with a video letting you know my choices and I'm looking forward to comparing and seeing what you guys come up with. And, you know, I can't wait to see what I come up with as well.